Hey, in this video we are going to build upon the project of the previous tutorial in order to add physics to the spheres created on mouse click, so if you haven't seen the other video make sure to check it out before you continue with this one. You should also watch my Canon GS tutorial because we are going to use it to add the gravity and the rest of the physics stuff, I'll leave you the links to both tutorials in the description below. As you can see this is the state in which we left the previous project, so the first step we are going to do is to install Canon by typing the following command npm install canon es. Next we need to import the library. Then we'll remove the axis helper and create the physics world. The next step is the creation of the plane's mesh which is going to serve as the ground. Now we'll add the cannon body to this mesh and then rotate it. Next we'll add the step and link the mesh with the body within the animate function and again I didn't explain anything of the code I have been typing because all is already explained in the Canon GS tutorial. Now we got our plane ready to have the balls falling down on top of it. In the click event callback function we'll create a body instance and then add it to the world. That done, now we have a sort of a problem, which is how to link the spheres with their bodies in the animate function. In the Canon GS tutorial we had the meshes stored each in a variable and the same thing for their bodies, so it was easy to link them, which is exactly what we just did with the plane here, we have a variable for the mesh and another one for the body. However, in this case we are creating the spheres dynamically, which means that we don't have certain variables containing the meshes and others that contain their bodies. An easy and simple solution to solve that problem is to create a couple of arrays to hold the meshes in the bodies. Each time a ball is created its mesh gets stored in the first array and its body gets stored in the second one and as you can see the mesh and the body of each ball share the same index in the arrays. Then we'll use a for loop to link each element with the element that has the same index from the other array. So first let's create the arrays, then we'll use push at the end of the callback function to add the body in the mesh of the created object. Then we'll use a mere for loop for the fusion of the meshes with their bodies. Now if we take a look you see that no matter what I click the balls are always created at the center of the plane or the center of the scene more precisely. And that's because the position of the mesh is getting updated by the position of the body which is created at the origin of the scene by default. So what we are going to do is to set the position of the mouse click as a value to the position property of the body and this way the body will get its position from the mouse click and the mesh will get its position from the body.
Now we can get rid of this line and then if we test this out everything should be working as intended. And there we go, now let's add a bit of bounciness to the balls by creating materials for the plane in the spheres and then make a contact material with a restitution of 0 0.3. Next, to generate random colors for the spheres, we are simply going to call the static method random and multiply the value returned by the hexadecimal value 6f. Now, as you can see, the edges of the spheres look pixelized. To solve that, we need to pass a configuration object to the WebGL render method and set the anti alias property to true. The next thing we are going to do is to add shadows, I have already talked about this subject in detail in my 3GS guide so I highly suggest you to see that part, I'll leave you the link to that video with the other two. So here we'll enable the shadows first, then make the light and the spheres as shadow casters and the plane as a shadow receiver. Again, the shadows look ugly and pixelized. To fix that, we'll need to increase the values of the map size with the height properties to 1024. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.